Hello everyone, this is Lydia. This video is about using the Write Then Cut feature to write sentiments and short phrases on, on your projects. Uh, works really well in cards. Uh, what I've done here for this uh, sympathy card was I inserted a, some pre-written uh, text, um, pre-prepared text uh, from an Anna Griffin cartridge that I own and um, it's called Sympathy Sentiment. And if uh, I'll put the link to this project in my post. Uh, and if you don't have this and you don't, don't want to purchase it, you can just detach it and delete it. Um, so the other thing I want to do on this project is put uh, with Sympathy on the front of the card. This is the inside of the card. Uh, that's the centerfold. That's the inside. This will go on the front of my card. So I'll just put it like that to save space. And so I'm going to take this oval, I'm going to put it over here just to be less confusing. And so I'm going to insert my text. So right now my text is set to cut. I'm going to align it center. So I'm going to go up here to my font menu and, and filter to writing. The only true single stroke writing fonts are Cricut fonts. Um, so um, there are lots included in the Cricut Access subscription, or you can purchase them. Uh, the one I really like, and that if you're going to purchase one, I, I really recommend, is um, the PS uh, font. It is, I've used it a lot, and it just seems to go with everything. So uh, obviously this is not the spacing that we would like. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to match my other uh, writing in this project to the moccasin pen color where you don't have to change it. Um, but this is going to, I just wanted to see what it's going to look like. And uh, that way it won't ask me to, if I have two different colors of writing in my project, it's going to ask me to switch pens. So I don't want it to do that. So uh, now that, and now I will ungroup and select each letter and I kind of try to I try to bring them into the center and I'm going to hold down my shift key which will keep it on the same x-axis and just move it in like that um, some people like to use the the letter spacing and bring them in that way but this is just easier for me for me just to do this I'm going to grab this A and bring it over. And it's not going to be one continuous line. It's um, written text can't be welded, but, and so it will pick up the pen between each letter, but um, you really won't be able to tell all that much. If you're not, if you have to get right up close to it to see that it's not one continuous line. So I'm going to select the width, bring it down here closer. And then I'm going to select with the with sympathy and I'm going to group it to make it easier to move around. And also if I want to uh, use the align feature on it, it'll keep it just like I um, positioned everything. So I'm going to just bring it in here and draw a bounding box to select both the writing and the shape. And I'm going to align center and see what that looks like. I don't like that a whole lot, but it's centered side to side now, and I'll just move this up just a little bit. I don't like that. So I'm going to select the whole thing again and attach it. So that tells Design Space that we want to write on these letters on this image and then and cut this image out. So this is what my card's going to look like. I'll hit make it and this is what that map will look like. Um, it will ask for the score tool. It will pause uh, and ask for to change the score tool out for a pin and um, then it will cut the the project out on this mat. Um, what I the cardstock that I have that I want to use for this is a textured cardstock, but that doesn't look 
really good with uh, writing done on it. So what I'll do is I'll put the textured side down so that it writes on the smooth side of the paper. And, um, and then so the outside of the card will have the texture. Okay, uh, now I've cut everything out and I'm ready to put my card together. And I've already uh, assembled my front and I embossed uh, the green part here. And I can just put, I'm going to try to center this the best I can. Um, my, put my With Sympathy on, a, on the brown, on a brown oval. I've already glued, put a tape runner on the back of this. And here's my. Uh, card base and it's hard to tell but it's this is smooth and this has a textured uh, on the back since I put a textured side down so I can just I like to use a folder to really get a good crease there in addition to the score line and then just put my front on like this it's all set to go it's very quick and easy card. And then here's another one that I did using a uh, print and cut uh, for the sentiment. And then I did the same uh, writing on the inside with the Anna Griffin uh, pre-done sentiment on the inside. I hope this helps. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for listening.